I finally got monetized. And you can see that my first day of monetization, I earned $3.17. Not quite enough to buy my oat milk latte, but it's a pretty nice feeling to earn my first amount of money in YouTube, pure passive income. And I'm pretty excited about this. I'll be going over the exact details of how to interpret these numbers because for everyone, it's going to be a little bit different. So first off, to get monetized, you need to have 1,000 subscribers and one of the following. So here, I've hit 4,000 valid public watch hours. Um, you can also go, the, go to the shorts route and get 10 million uh, shorts views. It's up to you. So it took me like one one year and six months to finally hit this goal, but it's a very nice feeling to finally reach that goal. So here we have CPM versus RPM. So you might hear these words floating around, but the idea is that CPM and RPM, they're both, both based off of per thousand views. They're using impressions here, but this, the idea is how many people view view your ads on your page. So... The cost per the CPM cost per 1,000 impressions or mil. That's usually the term that you'll see uh, mil right here. And the idea is that this is the amount of money that the ad payers have to spend for the ads. And RPM is actual rev revenue, so it's the amount that you will actually earn per thousand views. So in terms of how much money you earn, you're most likely going to care about the RPM. But usually, if CPM is higher, RPM will have a same correlation. So just to know that. And it really depends on what category of uh, YouTube videos you're going to be filming on. So there's different rates for different things. So here you can see that uh, for music here, uh, the CPM is 1.36. And if you compare it to something higher, like education, it's going to be like $9. And you see the highest one in finance and digital marketing is going to be 36 so it really depends on what category that your channel is about. And based on that, you will have the corresponding RPM, which will tell you how much you would be possibly earning. But it gets trickier than that. You also have things like different countries, because different countries have different buying power. So here's a list of 10 countries based ranking the RPM. So it's going to be in euros here, but you get a general idea of the uh, relative difference between the countries. So United States is going to be the highest at 11 RPM in euros. Australia is 9. Switzerland is at 8. Norway is at 7. New Zealand is at 6. Canada is at 6. Also Denmark, 6. Uh, United Kingdom, 6. Germany, 6. Uh, Netherlands at 5.8. So here you have it. You see that um, the United States is about two times uh, higher than the lowest one in these top 10. So uh, if you could get more audience in the United States because of their higher buying power, then you may have a higher uh, RPM in general. So if you take a look at my actual analytics, you see that uh, specifically, if we go to estimated revenue, this was uh, on April 18th, you see it's $3.17. So if we, actually, if we look at the actual views for that day on the 18th, you see that I have 1,588 views. So if we do the math and do 3.17 divided by 1588 times 1,000, it comes out to be 1.99 RPM. So roughly $2 per 1,000 views. And if you take a look at this tab here, you can see that it actually breaks down what the 3.17 is broken down into. You have 3.05 from watch page ads, and then you have 0.12 from YouTube premium. So Something you might be wondering is, oh, what if someone with YouTube Premium is actually watching your videos? How does the ads work? So I think part of the amounts of money actually gets deducted from the YouTube Premium that they're paying for. So um, that's kind of how it breaks down in terms of the ad costs that you actually make. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, good luck in your YouTube journey. Hopefully you also get monetized soon. And I'll keep you updated on my monetization journey. So subscribe to learn more.